living near the riverbanks will now have to spend the night out in the cold following the government's forceful evacuation and demolition of houses. Now, the residents are also accusing the government for not issuing a long notice. Our reporter Nelson Moreza spent his day in Mukuruka Ruben and here is his report. This is the exact picture you'll encounter when visiting a Mukuru Kwaruben. Residents trying to salvage what is left of their homes following the mandatory evacuation of people living in waterways. The demolition has now left many residents confused and stranded, especially those living near the riverbanks, not knowing the next step to take. Serikali ilisema watu wa hame ikusema watu bomoe na ikusema watu wanakuja kutubomolea ilisema kwanza tu hame for our safety sasa lakini tumeshangaa tumeona tuma bulldozer hapa zimekuja kino time unaona this demolition follows the government order these week asking residents to evacuate themselves, especially those living in flood risk areas, a situation which has left many residents at a crossroad. Saizi tumeshindwa tutaenda wapi, saizi tukumebomolewa kila pali, simi mwenyewe sina kazi, nikona watoto, nimeshindwa vitu nitapeleka wapi, saizi hata unga nilikuwa na kwa nyumba, saizi imeendwa na maji, watu wamekuja tu from nowhere, kutoka juzi, tumekua tukiambiwa tu 30 meter. Nesi wanyewe tulikuwa Businessmen are now estimating losses through destruction of property while blaming the government for not issuing a long-term notice for them to move, a situation which has subjected them to a dire situation. Zingine hata zenye nimepeana ziende sijui kama nitazipata zikiwa safe njoo ninapeana niwekewe na wenye wananiwekea hata siwaamini ni ile tu unatoa ziziharibiwe na tinga tinga a few meters from here, we arrive at Mukuru Kwarube Secondary School, where residents have killed eagerly waiting to receive relief food, which was distributed by political leaders to those affected by floods. This at the exact picture you will encounter when visiting Mukuru Kwa Ruben. Residents are now counting losses following yesterday's and today's demolition, while others are trying to salvage what is left for them. Nelson Mwareza, TV47, Nairobi.